Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. I don't know if you could hear Darcy chewing nuts just before we faded on. There you go, now you can. Um, today, we have a bunch of games. 2600 day today. We're going to be playing two RPGs. One is called Awakening. Um, and one is called Grizzards, of which we have the developer in the chat, BR Popok. And we're also going to be playing Memory Game by Alberto. And then we do have an After Dark today. Uh, we're going to be playing AVCS Tech Challenge because there is a Facebook challenge that they they do one every two weeks one week hmm. um it's the 2600 high score showdown season five and sometimes they have homebrew and when they have homebrew i try to participate if we are available to do that and this time we are so we're gonna try and uh not embarrass ourselves <laughs> and put some scores up because the scores are high <laughs> but we will get there eventually um I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling near around Darcy there. Uh, 8-Bit Swami on the Fur Arms Guard Coder Atari Age, PR Pocock. That's the person who's the developer. Ah. Uh, Buck Owens, Caffeman 2D, Catalog, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Chive, Coconut, Dan, ABC, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Gretams, Jedekai, John DWC, Juan Yurado, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Mark Spacek, Metal Atari, Mick Moose, Mike Soul. McMuse, I said McMuse. McMuse. Woo. Uh, Mike Saul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarna, Woop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Na Nyander, Packrat, VG Koal, Garcy, 70, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Where Esmer is the D Train, the Welshman, 89, Tiki Dan, KTM, Events, Trek, MD. And if you want your name added to that massive, massive list, probably the largest list we've ever had, um, just subscribe to Twitch. And we read it out, and you get scrolly scroll on the page, just like X Ken X seventy did. See? Woo! Woo! <laughs> they listen. Thank you so much for enjoying. How many subscribers? That is now with Ken X X Ken X fifty one or fifty two. You can count them up if you like. Um, wow. So a lot. That is a lot, considering we have eight hundred and fifty as of today. <laughs> there, here we go. <laughs> Woo! 53. Woo! 53. Thank you, Repentless Fiji. He was on the list already, so he just renewed. I noticed on oh. this page over here of Grizzards, which people can't see, but that I can see because I what? have godlike powers. Why are you jumping ahead? Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I can mention it later. Oh, okay. You can say it. Now. I'll forget. What, can you what, say? what oh. is Sears Telegames Video Arcade? That's <laughs> Is that oh. like a, an Atari, but sold by Sears? Yes, it was an officially licensed Atari system, but sold by Sears, and it did look different, huh. and it had a different like appearance. Didn't it? Didn't look like that twenty six hundred. Some people like it more. I like the more traditional. 2600. What did they like more about it? Um, what was it like? I, I I can't describe it because I've never had one. Or seen how do you one know you like this one better than? Mm, I've seen pictures. If of you the can't other one. even describe the other one, <laughs> when I ask the question, how do you it's know this nostalgia. is your favorite? This is it's my favorite one. Nostalgia. I don't know any other ones, but this is my favorite. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> like Kirkland brand stuff. <laughs> I remember it wasn't even a full column of names. Yeah, we have to scroll it now. It's huge. Um, Sorry, it's what? It's huge. I thought you said it's huge. Huge. It's no huge. H. Um. Look at Repentless VG, 24 months on a 24-month streak. Never missed a month. That's pretty good, because he subscribes before it runs out. Mm. Um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. You can't subscribe, you, blah, 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 blah. you can't subscribe with Prime before it runs out. Or if you can, oh. someone better tell me how, because I've tried in the past, and it's like, You're you can only use that credit when you have oh, that credit. Oh, that's true. So he's, he's timing it very well, then. You just have to do it, because you just have to do it within... I don't know. I don't know when. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's that you can't go a whole month. Uh, maybe. And, and yeah, it's free. Free with Prime. So link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and you can just subscribe because you know you're, this is your favorite show on Twitch. And then we might say, yay! yay! <laughs> um, the faux burled walnut is weird. Oh, is it a walnut? Hmm. Um, and you Wait, can is that on the Sears one or on the... I think it's on the Sears one. 
I'll find a picture it's of it. It's not burled on Atari. It's just it's, regular walnut. That's like on the the twenty six hundred. Here's like the um, the wall coverings, the the wooden wall coverings. What, what do they call that? Paneling, wood Pan paneling, wood paneling of the seventies and eighties. Yeah, mm. which um, I did have in one of my rooms. Yeah, they used to put that on cars. Yeah, and not on even the outside. Just, they used to put wood on the cars, <laughs> but even like in the in the eighties. They still put like fake wood on the side. Like we had a K car, mm. a, a station wagon, fake wood, <laughs> and it had like, like the Atari wood. Yeah, it was like plastic along wood the or, along the edge, right? Along, along that panel, you know, like this great panel or whatever. Um, in really really fancy cars, they still have wood in cars. Like on really the outside, fancy. in the oh, inside, inside on the yeah. dash, yeah. Um, and you can follow us like um, eight hundred and fifty people do. On Twitch, and you'll get alerted to when the show's on, because sometimes we change times. D-Train was complaining. I don't know when the show's on! Because <laughs> um, we had to run Tuesday's show two hours late, because mm. um, Tanya's scheduling. And then he's probably like, it's on at noon today, what the hell? <laughs> it's on at 6 p.m. all the time, except every second Friday when Darcy's on. So this is the every second Friday. It's my fault. Yeah, and you look on the Atari H forums. There's also a countdown on Twitch... A uh, bunch of places on Facebook, too. Um, we have a poll question this week. I was going to do it last week, but it wasn't working. Um, <laughs> it was giving me, like, this is an error. You're, you're getting hacked. So, uh, curse you, Darcy. Exactly. I don't know what for. You've been um, cursed. For the time change. To eat You were saying that D-Train <laughs> was complaining about not knowing when the show was on. And then you said, we said it was my fault. And he's oh, okay. Me. Well, sure, that works. The I hope it's a four-letter word style curse and not like a, a witch's curse or a... <laughs> damn, damn you, Darcy. Hmm. Um, the poll topic is, how difficult do you like your games? Um, number one is Easy Breezy. It's about the journey of the game, not the difficulty. It's just the experience of playing it. Hi, Tari. Um... Number two, it should start easy and then ramp up hard. Number three, game should have an easy, medium hard setting so everyone can enjoy. So it's easy throughout the whole thing or hard and it's that way throughout the whole thing. And then number four, hard as nails, start to finish. If I win, I feel I should earn it through blisters on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> my games? Oh, thrust. Um, so for me. Sure, you can vote for your games or games you play. It depends. Are we talking about Atari games? Uh, well, let's say Atari games. Okay. Because that's that's the games we play. But you can extend it to all the games if you want. Um, what would I like? I kind of like starting easy and ramping up hard. Um, but well, I, I feel like that is that is the default correct answer. Usually. And you should have a reason to not do that. <laughs> But sometimes, like if you want to have like um, there's like kids modes easy hard medium sure and it's hard throughout the whole thing or easy throughout the whole thing and but if it's a kids game I that's your reason to break the rule but the rule yeah. is it should start easy and ramp up to hard i'm number two i like it starting easy so it's kind of like but that's also annoying on some games where it's like oh i have to start over and it's just so boring and easy at the beginning and it's not a challenge you have to wait till it gets hard and then you that's get why challenged. i say it depends on the game. Yeah. Uh, like, for Atari, I can imagine it being hard from start to finish, and that's fine. Yeah. Because a lot of the time, they're not super long games. And so if they're mm. easy, like, it has to be enjoyable to play. Yeah, right? so for so anybody when I starting... Say, so when I say easy to hard, I mean, like, not like soft butter easy. <laughs> But yeah. like, you know, a bit of a chip, like hard butter easy. Like, you know, you can cut hard butter with a knife. Yeah. A lot of games do start easy because <laughs> especially if they only too. have one setting. I think I've qualified myself enough. <laughs> <laughs> because if you make it hard right from the beginning, people are going to be like, this game is too hard. Some you, people I die will say immediately. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although with board games, cooperative single player, I like games that have a win ratio below 50%. 25% to 12.5% feels right. Yeah, you don't want if to win If it's cooperative, all the time. then. If it's cooperative, yeah, you can't have... Wins every time. If it's co-op... 
and the win ratio is above 50%, you will feel extremely stupid when you lose. <laughs> if it's below 25% yeah. win, you feel good when you win. But it also... Uh, the, the other thing, though, is it's like balanced. with those games, if the reason you win only half the time is randomness then, and not decision-making, oh. oh, then, yeah. then I get mad. Randomness is not a good excuse to win. It's like I roll the blah, I win without any backing to it, no skill. There's all, but in those games, there's always even when there's randomness. So there's lots of dice games, right? And there's this one World War Two game. I can't remember what it's called. Mm. I think it's D-Day dice or something like that. Yeah. And we were playing cooperative, and we we're rolling, and like you have to both make good decisions and hope the dice don't screw you. That's fine. And we got That's to fine. the end yeah. and. Uh, I think it was James, not this one, a different James. <laughs> he needed to roll a six for us to win, and anything else would lose. And he rolled a six, and we, the the store exploded. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> fun. That's fun, right? Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I hope I get it, but you've made decisions all but, the way along but, to get to that six. Yeah, D-Day guys. Mm. So, the truth is, right up to the point he rolled, I was verbally bitching out this game. <laughs> <laughs> because we did all the right things, and now we have a one in six chance of winning. <laughs> yes. But I was very excited when we did win. It is game play, not game win. Yeah, so it can be the experience of going through it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you do it, if you get the right mentality, mm -hmm. then it's great. Like, um, I talked about this a lot, but like, there's the Fish and Superstar X. Mm -hmm. And like, it took me a while to like, Except that I was just going to keep dying <laughs> <laughs> until I got better at the game. Once I did, it didn't matter, and eventually I finished it. And there are games like that where on you just hard. die, die, die. Uh, mm hmm. Mm yeah. Hmm. Okay, we got some news and feedback. Mostly news, no feedback. Or I've ignored the feedback. Because <laughs> sometimes. It wasn't very good. It was bad feedback. Uh huh. Concerto dual booting for the 2600-7800. This is from uh, a post from Batari, who made the Concerto and the Harmony cards. Um, post on Wednesday. Right now you can pl play most 2600 games on a 7800 using Concerto, though all are not supported yet, unless you flash Harmony firmware, which replaces a Concerto and makes it just a Harmony card. Why did you buy a concerto then? It's much more expensive. Um, that said, I'm exploring a way to dual boot the cartridge into concerto or harmony mode without the need to reflash. As down the road, there'll be features added to harmony firmware that are not feasible to add directly to concerto firmware. So you'll be able to switch back and forth without permanently putting just one on there and having to reflash it every time. Um, so that is uh, very good news for people who use, who only have a 7800 and have a uh, concerto as well. And they want to play a bunch of 2600 games that right now are not available on that. So that's a great update for that. Um, so Andrew Davey uh, posted, I should actually uh, look for this thread so if you give me one second he did an amazing update on his when hop game um as um it's i think he's going to be using for like an overworld before you land on a planet uh so let me go to the newest page post and it's just mind-blowingly awesome he is just such an amazing programmer um, do, do, do. Okay, here we go. So, planet display. It's been a difficult bit of work, but I have the basic systems functioning now. This is a bit of a hack. I'll smooth out the movement soonish, but pretty cool. If a bit artifacty, Husk likes artifacts. I'll have I'll have put in three demo planets, and we'll look at that in a second. Well, here's the first Wenhop binary. All it does at the moment is display the planets as above. And I'll show you actually what it looks like in a second. Hold select to switch to the next planet. Uh, this version slightly improved on the texture tracking than the video. Also, the moon is brighter, speed of rotation faster. My next goal is to get the surface to track more convincingly as it rotates. 
Here's an improved version that seems to lock the texture to the sphere much more successfully. So we will now take a look at that binary. Does this only work in emulation? Yeah, it only works in emulation right now because it doesn't have the um, capabilities yet, or he hasn't programmed it yet to work with the CDFJ driver that's on the Harmony cart. But this he's just in development, early mm -hmm. development right now. So yeah. take a look at this. Unbelievable. So is it mapping Great. textures onto a sphere? Or he is doing a horizontal scroll of textures and then just not drawing the mm -hmm. outside. Because I don't think there's any, like... Um, yeah, like I'm looking at the circles and they don't, like... They don't change, yeah. right? So I think... But it's very convincing. Also, the other thing is, what value would there be to mapping the texture onto a sphere versus doing what the second thing you said. So much easier doing this. And it's totally and it's, fine. If it's going to do the same thing, unless you get value from the other one or you just want to yeah. succeed in the challenge. So there's the moon one. And here's the lava planet. It's like Io. Volcano planet. Oh, you can't hear it. Uh, it's, one second. It's very loud. <laughs> You're missing out. That's You're missing out on the, the, the sound effect. <laughs> is the, the earthquake sound effects if people have been watching the show and we demoed we premiered this on the show the other the other day um so that's the earthquake and it's got all the volcanoes it looks like it has a dark side and a light side to it mm -hmm. very yep. very cool oh, to focus again on this. this is more the earth-like planet with some green and some water and dark side and some ice I caps. Guess, yeah, ice caps as well, and some desert area too, and uh, little islands as well. Mm -hmm. Very very cool. Thrust says Andrew is the master of playfield. He is. He like this is drawn completely with playfield. Nothing else. No sprites. No ball. No missiles. Hundred percent playfield. And I think those are the three planetoids. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, unbelievable. So I think. These are the overworld that looks fantastic. Um, looks where you, you can land your spaceship on them. And um, then you go down and then you play on the planet. Um, and I'll just do a quick, because I don't think Darcy has seen that. Nope. No. Okay. So here's um, the Earth-like planet. Mm -hmm. And there's rocks. And you can see this is all play field, except for your except character. For yeah. And wow. it's like hugely animated. The water rises. Oh, and you can scroll up and sideways? Yep. Wow. Fully four-way scrolling. Wow. Um, and you mine the planet for uh, doge coins. Oh, there's your there's your spaceship that lands. Actually, that's the enemy spaceship. Oh, that's your spaceship. It takes off. You have to fill its uh, balls with coins. <laughs> <laughs> and, and is uh, it playable yet? No, no. no. Okay. This is just a demonstration of the play field. And we can see all the different planets. I think you went on to the dark side. I did. The night side, I should say. Oh. Oh, when I go off the screen. <laughs> no, no. Up. Oh. At one point, you're right there. See, I think that's oh. the, the night side. Oh, my God. Is it curved? No, it's not. It looked like it. And this one is the earthquakes, I think. Oh, it's yep. still got the green. It just has also earthquakes. Yeah, and lava down there. Hmm. And I think he also has the moon one? No, no moon one on this one. But anyway, very, very, very cool. Um, so that's the main nice... character looks very angry. Uh, yeah, and he has long floppy hair. Blonde hair for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's scared. He's, he's, he's uh, flopping his arms around. He's having some trouble there. <laughs> having some trouble there <laughs> <laughs> pretty amazing considering it's a 2600 really smooth there uh ice caps yeah is he mapping the zoomed out view of the play field as a texture i don't think so because the mm. view would be so different like yours yeah because the he's also drilling underground as well and the zoomed out view was like the whole not map. detailed enough like yeah like the 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 map the you know the 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 gameplay map 
mm. had way more going on, but maybe yeah. not. And it's you know it's also underground. But you did reach you did reach the um, the dark side pretty quick, <laughs> like the the night side pretty quick. So maybe the it surface, is the same. The surface, yeah. Um, looked like the Terra one had the blocks moving around and changing. Yes, there's earthquakes. The lava rose up and destroyed things. The the boulders were falling in. Go look at the other day because we, we don't want to go through it again. We will go through it when um, uh, when he releases another version that's more that's playable or another advancement. So we'll we'll take a look at it again. Uh, so that's all the news for today. We're gonna get into the games. The first one is Awakening by Rodney Sidal, or Rodney, and his name is R. Sidal. I don't know if Sidal is his last name. And the joystick to Darcy. Uh, I'm gonna win. You're gonna win first time. Know. That's pretty good. Let's switch over. So this is an RPG. Oh, um, what do you call that when you say something that's clearly not true? Oh, a lie. It's a lie. But it can't be a lie because it hasn't happened yet. It's a, it's an unrealistic uh, expectation for the future. If you know you're not gonna win, you can't know. <laughs> but if you know that it's really unlikely, then it's still not a lie. Then, yeah, it's never. It can't be a lie because everybody knows it's the future. You're guessing. Yes. A bad guess. <laughs> yeah, bad oh, guess. Oh, I know what it is. You said something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. Uh, so go down to today. Pick Awakening. Uh, this build is from July 31st, so about a week ago. It's an 8K F8 game. This is his first game for the 2600. Anyway, I need some coffee. If I'm going to win on That's the first right. go. That's right. No deaths. Full win. I didn't say no deaths. Just a win. Stop trying to make, <laughs> stop trying to make it impossible, James. No deaths. Zero deaths. Um, so it's a loose port of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy, which I haven't played, so I won't be able to say, oh, it's just like this. It's just like this. Can I press the button or will I um, be chastised? No, you can do it. We've heard the beautiful music and looked at the title screen. So you can play blindly. You got hit. Little hint, pull down the button. Oh, he got hit. Yeah. He has to touch your sword. Did I die? I know that song is from Zelda. Oh, I got a thing. I got the key. Ah! Uh, Awakening is an homage to Apparently the... Apparently you can't get through there. The end. Oh, look, it's you and a skeleton that killed you. Uh, Awakening is an homage to the early 8-bit action-adventure games. Hey, listen up. Carl, one of the fairy folk, has come to Zed for his assistance. Uh, a disturbance has said upset the fairies and caused them to flee to the nearby ruins. Help Zed round up the fairies who have lost their way. With Carrie at his side, they will appear to Zed as he travels through the desolate landscape. Well, I guess uh, Carrie is the little dot above your head, little fairies. Oh, round up the fairies. Oh, are they the dots? Oh, yeah. Uh, along the way... Zed will be relentlessly pursued by skeletons who call the ruins home. So, really, you're invading their lands, and it's understandable why they're mad. You got it. That's not good. Uh, while Zed can attack oh. with his sword, others will appear oh. and continue the chase. Help Carrie locate her friends as you make your way to the Fairy King before becoming overcome by the skeleton horde. Oh, Thrust is keeping your score. You got five points, and then you got ten points. So right now you're on track to tie your... Oh, you got a fairy immediately. <laughs> oh, it's because the fairy stays in the spot on the screen, and it doesn't matter which map you're on. Lie, lied, and willing have lied. Willing have lied? <laughs> ah! Oh, they're doing the time travel uh, speak. Hey, oh. Will have lied. <laughs> Going to have lied. You are going to lie. <laughs> going to have lied. Yeah, the, the, the trickiest thing in this for me so far is the uh, the fact that when you touch the wall, it yes. like touches you. It like grabs you. It's all like, I love you! Arr! Yeah, sticky walls. Um, the entrance to the Fairy King's throne is through a large cave opening. Molten rock has risen up through the earth to prevent him his escape. Let the king safely make his way to Zed's tunic and end the game. Good ending. 
Uh, controls. The joystick moves Zed all around in eight directions. Uh, fire button to swing sword. Press and hold to keep the sword at ready. One skill level. Game rules. Awakening can be played in two ways. Avoid the fairy king's room and amass a high score as possible by attacking skeletons. Now, how many points do the skeletons give you as opposed to the fairies? How would I know? They kill me. I don't kill them. So the fairies give you five. Mm -hmm. Kill one, at least. How? Pull out your sword and just run into them with your sword. One. So it's better just to avoid the skeletons and yeah. get all the fairies. Uh, number two, make your Or way was it one or was it uh, ten? Eleven. Oh, I doubt it's eleven, but you can try it again. Just hold out your sword and go to the side. And, and he no, will, it doesn't work. He will hit you. Oh. Don't go, don't go yeah, down or up. Just go straight to the one. side. Oh, it is. Okay. There. Because he, no, he has no choice but to touch your sword first if it's to the side. Um, I don't think that he should have to touch my sword. <laughs> touch the sword. Uh, the other way you can play is make your way to the Fairy King and reunite him with his loyal subjects for a special bonus. Zed can pick off the skeletons, but they will continue to respawn. So avoid at all costs. So you are playing correctly. Um, attack skeleton one point. Collect as many fairies as you can by fighting off the skeletons. Collect fairy five points. Return the fairies to the king. Find the fairy king. I don't know how many points. Random bonus. Start with four lives, and once they're oh, gone, the if, game is over. If the, if the fairy is between your legs, it does not get picked up. Oh! Which I guess makes sense. Very it's good a... collision in this game, then. Mm -hmm. D, cheating. Your new score is Darcy cheating. <laughs> <laughs> what is it cheating? <laughs> this is allowed by the game. I'm I am genuinely hurt I think by the what uh, term is uh -oh, cheating. I died. <laughs> cheating or not, died. 97. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tips. Sometimes the fairies will land in an area that's inaccessible. If that happens, don't fret. They will realize their error and reposition themselves for Zed to pick up. So you should try and find the uh, fairy king. And not just go between two rooms. <laughs> uh, it's one room. <laughs> that room was weird. Like the skeletons were persistent in that room. <laughs> when you went from one side to the other. Uh, you have to watch out. Yeah, the skeletons Oh, the skeletons are always persistent. Always. So they don't move ever. So it's best not to... Ugh, the walls! <laughs> I, I, I don't like walls being so... Sticky walls. Handsy. <laughs> Now you're getting it. Uh, because of the way that room was shaped and because of where it was. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, because of where it was located, it's, it made me think it was this, I was just going to different sides of the oh. same room. Oh. <laughs> Thousand and one tense formations. How to describe something that was about to happen to you in the past before you avoided it by time jumping forward two days in, in order to avoid it. <laughs> the event will be described differently according to whether you're talking about it from the standpoint of your own natural time, from a time in the further future, or a time in the further past, is further complicated by no! the possibility of nah! conducting conversations while you're actually traveling from one to the other with the intention of becoming your own mother or father. Wasn't there a conversation in the Red Dwarf about past and future? Was it a different show? will have had traveled uh, yeah definitely it... that i've heard that what is that before. from Damn it. no or is it somebody analyzing somebody love me why do you keep running into them without your sword because it's quicker out? because it's quicker <laughs> uh make sure you're ready to return the lost fairies before entering the throne room as zed cannot leave one instant side there are two endings that can be achieved depending on how you play the game. End screen, final score, reflect this with different characters appearing. So on July 28th, he says, I've been working on a way to create the real ending for Zed and the Fairies. have come up with two ways to play the game, which we've gone over. No! In this, I will give the player no! more, more reason to explore all the rooms and search of the Fairy King. The final room is a point of no return. Blah, blah, blah. I'd like to keep this game at 8K, so going back to the sticky walls, knockback will allow for more rooms. So he decided... To keep the sticky walls. No! And give more rooms to the game. Um, this will allow for more rooms and a slightly harder challenge. Rooms will change color to indicate different areas. Ruins, dungeons, etc. 
Um, so he has 164 bytes left in the ROM. I have nothing left to add to my list. Darcy needs his own microphone with a volume limiter. <laughs> this is an old problem. Yes. Darcy used to have his own microphone, and we used to turn him down because he was very loud. <sighs> I, don't not, I do not believe I'm loud. <laughs> it's been confirmed by people who have no prejudice towards the They're old show. They're all prejudiced against me. <laughs> oh. They're all trying to get me. All trying to hold them. back my voice. <laughs> This is a freedom of speech oh. issue. Oh, the fairies go blip, blip. Oh, never noticed that before. Go blip, blip. Okay, my turn. Uh, faffing around. <laughs> Let's try and find an area <clears throat> that has uh, the king. Or at least it's not green. This way and then be like... I actually do that sometimes. They're yeah. slightly further from me and slightly closer to you. It might help. Oh, see, you randomly run into fairies sometimes. Uh, fairies or, or skeletons? Uh, both. Oh, yeah. So I'm keeping my sword out. Well, I guess you don't randomly run into skeletons because they stay where they are, and if you think about it, you... You never run, run into them. Well, you could kill one and then... Mm. Then randomly run into it. Yeah, that has happened to me. So, let me get... Oh my god, they keep hitting me and killing me. There, that's random. I kind of like the noise of the sword. Listen. Oh. It's like... a bad wire. It's like a bad connection on a wire. See? That's... that's crazy. You should know better than to just kill skeletons willy-nilly. That's... that is true. There is a tactic <clears throat> to this. Whoa. You almost got your feet. So I should keep my sword out, but also just avoid the skeleton. So see the the pillars? Ah. Like there, ah. the top and the bottom, you can't pass yes. through there. Ah. Uh see the bottom there? You can't pass through there. <laughs> that? No, there. That pillar. The bottom. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's it's pretty much a dead it end. It might as well be filled in. Yeah. It's a bit of a lie. It's, a, it, it's like, you can go through there. No, no, no. no. Your whole body you has to pass through it. Yeah. Some games, it's just feet. Yeah. They're like, can your feet go through it? Oh, come Oh, my God, the sticky walls. I know. And I'm I glad don't. that you're on my side with the sticky walls. I am. Even if only for a moment. <laughs> Being on your side. <laughs> All the rest <clears throat> of the time, no. No, no, no. I will be on the opposite side. Whatever it is. I'm gonna get that one while I'm waiting for that skeleton to come over here. Uh, I wanted to go. I wanted to go down, but the bloody skeleton's in the way. How am I gonna do this? I have to lead him all the way over here. That's what you do. And then run, 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 run. See, success. Oh, dead end. Pointless. I know. When I was playing around with this, the Next area is down somewhere. I don't, I don't understand that. Oh my god, dead ends. This map is crazy. Dead end, dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. Reminds me a bit of E.T. It's got shades of E.T. of wandering around and everything looks kind of the same. Okay, now can I go? No. Oh my god, okay. You're Come gonna get murdered. Actually, you're not, because you did it right. That's right. Way to keep a cool head. Okay. Oh. Yeah. No. I want him over here. Yeah. What am I doing? Um. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a bit samey samey. And everything. Am I just not going the right way? Or Whoa! No, nope. more dead ends. I think this loops around like the the maze. Oh my god. Okay, come over here. Get that firefly while you're at it. Whatever, fairy. Looks like a firefly. Okay. Oh uh, go 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 go. Oh one at the top. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Okay. Sticky walls. There you go. Your friend. Dead. 
mapping. I was just gonna say, uh, don't I'll look at our screen. Don't don't look at the chat. <laughs> Trust is giving a very good uh, a suggestion that I realized I would have to do the mapping part. <laughs> and I was like, no, shh, Rasmus. Mapping? <laughs> Ooh, let's do some mapping. No, we I'll show you why mapping. that doesn't really work after I die. Gives us the answer of as to whether it's looping or not. It does, and it almost immediately you can you'll know that the mapping will not work uh, when I restart. Because you go on a loop and you're like, oh, well this should be... Did I just die twice? I don't know, you died once anyways. I just had three lives and down to one now. I need... Oh, die. Ah, dead end. Oh, yay! Something different! Hooray! I tried it without instructions. Couldn't understand what was the goal. Without instructions. Yeah, that would be difficult. Um, oh, you're... you're oh, yeah. Ugh. yeah. Luckily, you have a sword that you know how to use. Yes. That does help. So I can clear it out and reset the skeleton to somewhere. So we're in a Let's different start. area now, at least. So if it starts turning green, I am heading back because we don't want to start with green again. Yeah, I should be using my sword more. Um, the goal is to... Oh, this is different. This is different. What's this? I saw in a demo he pushed one of the blocks. At, oh, oh my god. Oh, did I just die? Or is that a good ending? Or a bad ending? That's a terrible noise. <laughs> Stopping to play the music when you pick up a fairy can get annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, actually, it, it also was a little alarming at first. Okay, so this is the start. Uh huh. So, I just died. Okay, I'll go down, mm -hmm. over, mm -hmm. up, and there's a door. And it doesn't go back to the beginning. And this should be the beginning if it's like a one-to-one -one mapping. But you are assuming that it, that that is the only way for it to be done. You, So long as it's consistent, you can map it. So long True. as when you go that way, it shows up in that room, you can't map it. True. You just have to do like a detailed map, like a like a draw the room set map, which is yeah. why I was like... I'm going to start over because I uh, died. It did have a different ending there than it... It did. So I feel like you found time. the king. I think you found like the... Maybe? So if you die in a skeleton... That is what it looked like when you died, isn't it? Just the last time? It had nothing there. The previous time it had a Z. Very weird. I don't know. Distance is a relative. Crash? Trust as to the crash. Uh, well, not really. Because yeah, it didn't clear the audio on Game End. That was the thing I noticed, is that yeah. you died and it, 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 was like, uh, it was like someone left the tap running. <laughs> and if you don't clear it, it's just going to keep playing the noise. Very good that way. Or if you don't tell it to stop, it just won't. Actually, most systems are like that. Especially MIDI. MIDI's like, eh. I'll just keep playing this note until there's a note off. Mm -hmm. And there's no note off, so... Uh, Thrust asks, what is the state of the game? Work in prog progress? He says it's finished. Ah. He has declared it finished. So that... And he had... It, did, it was taking suggestions, but I think sometimes... Developers are a little bit eager to finish off their game. Oh, okay. I found that pretty quick. Good. I still have four lives. Um... But I'm sure if we find, like, big bugs like the, that note thing, you might update it. I would hope so. Um, but no, this is not a working... Oh, the green! Don't want to go back to green. No little green egg paw. Oh, you know what? Mm. I think you finished it. Because you your score was 580. Look oh. at it now, 53. I think you finished it. Yeah. You found the king. It's just that it wasn't clear that you had finished it, and that... You should play in music or something when you're in the king's It shouldn't immediately throne. go to a game over 
screen. You should. It, we shouldn't wonder if you'd finish the game. Exactly. <laughs> it, sh it should say you win or something. When it gets down to it. Yeah. <laughs> we should did. think you'd finish. <laughs> That's a very good observation. <laughs> We're like, did I die? Did I win? <laughs> So did I get the good ending or the bad ending? See, that's another question. Oh, yeah. B.R. Pocock says, uh, I think there was a fairy in the right of the end screen in the wind condition instead of a skeleton. Oh. And I did see there was a skeleton when you died of the skeleton. And I did. I do now remember seeing the um, I don't remember the fairy. That. So on the, yeah, you can scroll. Through. You have... Is somebody recording this, maybe? <laughs> did, did, is anybody recording this? <laughs> uh, I think Twitch is, and me locally. Uh, maybe some other people. But was it the good ending or the bad ending? Like, it wasn't, like, I don't know. Well, it, it, if that was the ending, then there's a problem. Because, like, it had the sound bug. And also, we didn't know that it was the end. That, too. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, that was... Was it good? Like, different? No. no, it's just my brain remembered it being greener, and this time when you went up there, I remember it, it looked brownish. Because it is. But, yeah. um... Oh. No. no, no, no! No, back, back, back! Yeah. I'm not finding the king this time, or the other area. Can I make it under this guy? Nope. Ooh, he's gonna be right where I don't want him to be. Have some sword. Have a face full of sword. The blue area is more guided. Like, there's not as many. There's like only one usually, maybe two. Oh my god. Painful. I know. Ah, come on. Come on. I wasn't even watch. <laughs> uh, but I mean, in that okay. case, it was. Oh, this okay. is where I want to be. Okay. This is close. It, that way was where you went last time. Yes, I want to go this way. Okay, so this no. is... This it's, is e you could get that one last berry. Should I touch that red? <laughs> it's probably lava. Probably lava. Oh my god, I wasn't going to go. Pole is closed, so we'll take a look at the pole after. Definitely misses some polishing. I mean... The picking up of the fairies, kind of cool. Uh, well, we'll talk about it after. Okay, 134. Okay. Can I go into the room? 1134. I didn't even see the king. He must have been like right at the. Yeah, no, there's, there's, that's not right. I, the, like, that's clearly not their intent. Well, listen Because to the last music. time we saw a little bit. The music, the was, music worked this was time. was more upbeat. Yeah, the music, well, last time there was no music. It was. <laughs> there was somebody left the tap on. Yeah. Uh, but it was still, like, last time we saw a bit of the screen first. Yeah. We saw and the king. I don't king. know. Did Maybe. you see the king? Well, there's. I two, saw a fairy or two, two. Two fairies. Yeah. I'm guessing one of them's the king and one of them's just a normal everyday fairy that's in every single room. Or it was a bug, and the screen was just, like, partially drawn when it froze. So I'm guessing we saw all three endings, because one had the tap running noise, one is the nice happy music, and one is the skeleton died. We die on the skeleton. You so also that's... had the... There was an ending where it just showed the Z, unless you had... Oh. Unless no, it I, was... I, oh, I, it's this. Yeah, you hit the I joystick and it was that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So... The concept... Uh, the concept is, you know, pretty cool. You know, collect fairies, go to the king, there's a maze, there's bad guys, you have to collect fairies. Pathing is a lot easier if the skeletons don't have to follow walls. <laughs> it is. They, they're they ghost skeletons. Double scary ghost skeletons. That's not a complaint, by the way. No. It, it does it's actually it's, it's important for the game. It would kind of suck if you had to wait for the skeleton to go around things to get him back into the middle of the room so you could go into the other side yeah uh yeah the pathing is a bit simplistic but it's an 8k game i don't know um the endings are ambiguous unless you know that the ending i don't think the ending is how it's intended but maybe i'm wrong yeah but like both times when you got to the end in I a non-death way <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we were confused as to what had happened. And mm -hmm. I don't think... I doubt that that was intentional. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It is what it is. It it works. The game works. Yep. It does what it's intended to do. If I had done it, I would be exceedingly proud. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> For sure. 
Okay, so we're gonna move and on. And you guys to... would all be rolling your eyes at me, but that's like how it's... Darcy's game. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next game, which is the memory game by Alberto, whose name is Jab, on the Atari Age forums. Which one are we playing? Uh, memory game. Was that a joke? Wasn't I terrible. just didn't hear you. <laughs> would have been a, it would have been a good joke, Which but I would have had a look on my face like, Which game? <laughs> a little bit more bad acting. Instead of just like, <laughs> Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Words. In some of my early movies, Darcy was the star of the of the of the show. He's a great actor. So good. <laughs> <laughs> so like nobody nobody can even believe how good. Oh, so good. I didn't uh, get into acting professionally because I didn't want the other actors to feel bad about I mean, how much better I am at acting. I mean, it's a bit acting. unfair if you win the Oscar every year <laughs> That's right. and, and dominate for 20 years and yeah. they'd be like, have, they'd have to ban you. Well, they would just, oh, oh, scared awake. Scared, <laughs> scared a cat. <laughs> uh, they would just change it to the Darcy and say, no more, you can't. You... <laughs> they give you your separate That's award right. <laughs> for just acting. And the Darcy Award goes to Darcy. <laughs> and now for Best Male Actor. <laughs> Best, who is not named Darcy. <laughs> okay, that's an X. Okay. That's and a that's four. a four. Okay. And it's a memory game. It's pretty sweet. Okay, X, four. And a yellow it's a joystick. Duck. Nope. Joystick on a, a. console. No, it's a duck. And an A. That's a an I Circle. and an up. Oh, this is an adult memory. Zero and oh my the trophy. God. Uh, oh, do you got an A before? Yeah. Is it up to the corner? There? It was there or there. Let's do this one. No. Oh. So let's hunt for the A again. No, that wasn't Oh, my God. The non Darcy Award for Best Actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No! Oh, you keep pressing that one. Uh, no, it's just that I, I sometimes press the button to clear it. Oh, there. there it is. Was it here? Did nope. It? One, at least one to the left. No, one, one more. I think. What? No, oh, I know there's the up arrow. Was, Maybe it was in the bottom. Oh, okay. See, I was wrong. I'm not good. There? No, oh. no, it's <laughs> to the left. It's in the same column. No! no! I pressed the joystick. I heard the joystick. Yes. I don't, I don't know where the other one is. So, pick another one. Oh. Oh, it's too See? many. Right? <laughs> too many we found now. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. I only have 25 moves left. I don't even know if that's enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stop flashing. <laughs> we know. We're we awesome. should celebrate because we're dumb. But. <laughs> Yay! Matched. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yep. Atari is celebrating a little bit longer than <laughs> necessary. Oh no. Oh, we've one. never seen that before. Stairs? Piece of paper? <laughs> that was that was a noise for wrong. <laughs> car, car honking, real world noises. We've hooked it up. We've hooked up the Atari to a car horn. Oh yeah, it was up there, wasn't it? <gasps> Good one. I have we some memory apparently. Have a chance now, I think. Okay, this is my uh, jab. It's 4K game. Oh, oh, Pac-Man. Bad Atari 2600 Pac-Man. <gasps> yes, it is within reach now. Uh, he's also made the Scissors Rock Paper Card Game, which we played the other day, which was actually mm. pretty fun. And the Words Game, which was also very fun. I was not so very it's... strategic with my uh, picking. There's a glitch there just after the match. Yeah, I'm going to get to that. Vitoko found a glitch, and he posted in the forums. Hi, this is my uh, version of a famous... Oh, no, I did that one before. Oh, where's that? Oh, the same one in the same spot. Oh, oh. that's down Yeah, in the bottom corner somewhere. Nope. Left. No, up left. There? Yeah. Right there. Ooh, maybe. I think it's there. Yeah. <gasps> okay. That's why you're playing this game. It's here? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. No. no. Oh, no. Okay, no. So I know where that one is. Is it this one? No, no it's, not. it's not. It's to the right. <laughs> Don't. So this one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So oh, my good. God. Yeah. <laughs> we may not win. Uh, it's, it's called... It's... Game play, not game, <laughs> game win. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, my version has 18 pairs, 36 oh. titles. You know where that one is? Nice. 
eight, there's only 18 pairs, so you still have 18 moves for much less than 18 pairs. Oh, that's not it. I've never seen that one. Oh! oh. Top left? I think it's, it's this one? Somewhere around there. Oh, nice. See? Useless. Terrible for memorization. Well, it does... Uh, you should uh, remember that you're reading this thing in That's between true. memorizing. You have a maximum number of attempts on the left to discover the correct pair, and the counter okay, decreases on a wrong pair. When the counter displays zero attempts, any oh, next nice. error generates game over. You have 35 attempts on difficulty B. Not mm -hmm. no. Oh, so but I know on, where that one is. This is on easy. And 20 on hard. I'm not sure. To complete yeah. the game, use the joystick, select the title, and press fire to discover. On the right, there is your score. Got 14? 16 now? <laughs> the memory award does not go to Darcy. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so I asked him if there's room to add in an option for two players, which would make it so much more fun. Because it'd be like, oh, I know where that is. And Darcy doesn't. Um, and he said, um, No, that's not it. I have room in the binary, but not RAM. Oh, that was just luck. Wow. <laughs> um, probably with good optimization, it's possible to add in two player option, maybe the next release. No! So it'd be very, very much, much better with two players and two joysticks. That wasn't it. So that because that's it. Okay. one person can play off the other person's discoveries. Oh, you've got 11 tries left. It gets easier as time goes on. I, oh. I should have remembered that that was the duck. <laughs> the duck. That's definitely a joystick on an Atari console. Okay. Is that what this? Oh, boy. Ooh, good. Hello, Carl G. Short-term memory is the first to go. Oh, look well, at I, that. I don't have short-term or long-term memory, so I don't know what you say about that. <laughs> Frame oh. masking control intervals for repeats. Better use a dedicated delay I've counter. Done that several times, but not that one. Ooh. Ooh. How many do you have left? We're five pairs, so you have ten tries for five pairs. I feel like I've failed. To... Yeah. Okay. I know it's random. Gonna win. In you're going to area, win. But... <clears throat> uh, Vitoko posted today. Said Alberto, I tried this game on a real console and found a glitch. Sometimes when you match a pair, then pick a tile in another column from the same row as a match, the new item appears in the space of the previous removed tile for a frame. Then it moves to the real tile position. Of course, I couldn't solve it in the number of moves. My memory does not work very well in this kind of situation. <gasps> Dutch is going to win. There's no way you can lose. Unless you deliberately mess it up. I was just going to say, <laughs> watch me lose. I can do it. <laughs> Try I didn't now. say that, and that's not my goal anymore. Try and lose now. <laughs> Is there a timer? No. Yeah, now I literally... Yeah, that lose. could be another option, another a timer. But uh, he's just running out of room. Whoa, oh, oh, there's a problem. Line count issue on the win. Hopefully it comes back so we can see what it said. I think it said good. Again... It would be really handy if someone was recording this so we could find out. <laughs> Flash for like a millisecond. So there's another bug. Wait, if could we if we were if can they like rewind and watch it? I believe they can. Oh, okay. That's um cool. so let's put it on hard. Play it once more. What does hard do? Does it add more fingers? Nope. Oh fewer attempts. I fewer see. attempts. We're not going to win. Because an I and a seven. seven. Oh! And a seven. Oh! Oh my god! So good! So, see, that was pure skill. You gotta watch the master. Wait, wait, so it's an I and a B. B. Oops. And a down on the end. I, B, J down. I, B, J down. I, I, and I. I, 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 I Captain! I, I. B, J down. B, J down. <laughs> it's not a good sequence of. <laughs> Letters and numbers. BJ down A. Oh, down. Oh, yes. Down is on the end. Yeah. BJ A. Because we got it in the wrong order. BJ A. BJ A. Want to come up here? Come here. BJ A X. BJ A X. BJ A X Pac Man. BJ A X Pac Man Heart. B A B. 
Hey. B J A B J X Pac Man Heart. Yes. X B J X Pac Man Heart Joystick Duck. Dice. <laughs> Duck oh dice. no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. It's too many now. Heart. No, it's not a heart. Damn it. Oh B. B. We're not gonna win. Even like writing these down, you have to be lucky with twenty. And you have been lucky. Yeah, we're you have been lucky. lucky. You got two of them right away. Oh, oh, that was up. That was uh. One of those. Sure. Oh, not that not one. That one. Oh, I think it's. Okay. No, that was dice. There, there it is. Okay. All talent, Stella. No, no, no. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, not running, Stella. Okay. Did we get the last one on that row? Nice. I think yeah, we are we we did because we already cleared it. I can't remember what it was, but Pac-Man. Uh, Pac-Man dice. No, no, I think it's on the end. I think that's Pac-Man. No, it's a heart. I, I was wrong. I think it's the one in the middle now. Oh, there <laughs> it is. Yep. It is the one in the middle. Yep. Seven moves left. It's. It, I don't think it's possible. We have more than. We have 14. It's not possible. I think to win... If we have 14, you could get it if you get them all right. Oh, we saw diamond. That I think it's... Oh. Oh. No, no. I think it's on the right, but I'm not sure. That one? No. That, that one? one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Seven failures left. <laughs> is that how we're counting? <laughs> yes, we're, we're it is. We're counting by is. failures. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not even failures. They're moves. Failures or wins. No. Are they only no, failures? No, it's failures. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. We haven't seen that. No. We have ah, seen we that. We do know that it's the middle one there, I think. Yes. Yeah. So this should not go down. That's right. Oh, so that is the way that it should be. I would We're make... punished for failing, not for winning. Yeah. Or, oh. That's up one of those, mm. right? Mm, that no, one? I think it's. I think it's. I think one. it's. I don't know, but I think it's. Yeah, that's. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. yeah. I had a suspicion. So it is possible to win. Okay, it is failures. Uh, oh, Ooh. that's definitely that one. Woohoo! We're getting Will very we excited win? about this Ooh. memory game. We obviously like it. Even on hard <laughs> twenty doesn't seem hard. Jesus, you get to flip over forty unmatched tiles with perfect memory. You shouldn't. Yes, but if you have perfect memory, yeah, don't play this game because then, it's, <laughs> then it's it's too easy. You if you oh, do it part in a game like this, you should be able to Which complete it. If I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there should be luck. Oh, oh no, well, that's the joystick. Yeah, I think that's that one up there. Oh, we need the joystick. Is this the joystick? The next one. You know, you don't actually need. Oh, we haven't seen that. Oh, oh God! See, so there's some, lucky. Uh, although it's not that lucky, it's it's less. It's lucky, but it's not like massive. Lucky. Oh no, we haven't seen this. No, <gasps> we have seen that. We have. I think that's the leftmost one. No, oh no! Well, we're gonna go for random. Woohoo! It worked. <laughs> it did. I think we might, if we're super super lucky, and this is zero. What? 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 Yeah. Okay. We can win this with two well, failures. Well, you would have to screw up to not win. Oh point. my god. We're so good. We're um, so good. Captain Classics, opinion aside, we are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, defeated on the first try. And blanked out the screen and I wasn't looking. Did it say good? Did anybody catch it? No. Stella? No? No? I have to look in Stella. After yeah, I definitely wasn't trying the first time. I was just like, yeah. I'll look at the things. <laughs> just look at the things. Okay, we're done. We won both games. Yay! Yay. Woo! Um, improvements? <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> I mean, he could make one even harder, which would be what, good. What you could do on the hard is make it that you can't make any mistakes. And you just die the first try. But you can always play easy while you practice. Really? Oh, well, it's not the same every time. No, but if you... you... You have to make mistakes. You don't know what anything is. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no. No, 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 James. No, 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 no. You don't. You don't. 
all you need is enough times to see all of the squares and one extra thing to, and then complete oh, it. Do oh. it correctly. If you do oh, it perfectly. Because you don't lose it when you make correct decisions. You only lose it when you make uh, wrong guesses. Right. Right. So you... But so all you need move. is enough to look at... Oh, to look at... To everything. look at the things. Right. Well, there's, thir 30, oh, hi, there's 32 of them. But you don't even... Uh, there's 36 of them. So there's 18 pairs. But along the way as you're looking, you're going to find matches. You need less... You need even less than 18. You need, like, maybe... I don't know, 10? Well... Uh, I don't know what Captain Classic says. You end up with four free flips. On on ten. On hard. On hard. Well, I, I if looking at everything, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So make it sixteen then, or even less. You what I'm what that. I'm saying is, you could make it so that as so long as you do it perfectly, you win. Oh, I see. So that but, is but hard. It's random. That is hard. It's it's random. You could do it perfectly, like, but that's why. The, but uh, like, uh, memory is a game of making mistakes, right? But like, there's hard mode and easy mode, and while you're learning how to master it, you could play easy mode, and then you have more more mistakes. So. But there is no optimal number. Like, it could be arranged where it's match, 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 match all the way down, or it could be r arranged so that it's the most non-optimal. And you would have to just random. Yeah, but you get things. to look at two every time. You do. So you can, you can set it up so that if you like, if you have perfect memory, you see yes. it and you remember. You can just go through. You don't even have to like match them as you go. You could just like, one, if you have two, perfect three, memory, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, before you could possibly not get a double, and then from then on. All will be matches if you have perfect memory. So the minimum is nine on the worst luck. Uh, sure. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And say the whole top half is all unique. And is that worst luck or is that best luck? <laughs> because then you go through and you learn everything and you're done. Whereas if you had some doubles you're in, during your exploration, you will need more because you've used them to see doubles. Whereas if you, if every time you look, you Maybe see it's two the same. If every time you look, you see two things that you didn't know where they were before, yeah. that's the most efficient use of your, your time. If you find things that you have seen the pair for, then you're wasting time. Because then you have to go back. Whereas if you see the f if you do the first half and yep. you only get the information, then every time after that you, you are matching something. Yes. But if you don't, you're wasting some of them. Yes. So what you said was the least efficient was actually the most efficient. <laughs> it seemed like it would be the least efficient. I agree. But the, it, the only it would other be the way most you could do way. better is by luck. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. which you're likely to, to be lucky oh, yeah. once or twice or whatever. Yeah. I think. I don't know. So, um, the the minimum he could set it Narrow is nine. Oh, oh, Ground Trooper, thank you for resubscribing. Woo! <laughs> um, <laughs> the minimum you could set it is nine. For for setting it without any luck, like if you only could do memorization, the minimum you could set it is nine. If you set it any lower, that means you have to get one by pure luck but if you At set it one. to nine yep you might not be able to even if you do it even if you do everything right you still might fail oh yeah 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 so that's not a good way to do it i don't think <laughs> i think if you do everything right and you fail uh no, no that's no. you can't fail you can't you can if you have nine yeah because because okay so you look at the first two yep and then you you look at the top row and then you get to the next one and it's then you reveal a match from above okay but you don't you've used one but you don't waste a turn you matching. you did just waste a turn because you didn't see a new piece of information and you have to you no, you didn't you see a new piece of information you don't use up a turn that way you you did use a turn and you only got one piece of information that said that counter two. doesn't go down if it goes match, down if no, no no you are mistaken you're assuming that the one you looked at first and the one you looked at second were the same i'm saying you look at Say you go, so okay, so say you get to the end of the first row at the top, 
Mm. And then the next one, the first yeah. one is new, and the next one is one of the ones that was at the top row. You got one less piece of information. Oh. So now you're worse off than if it had been something you hadn't seen. So that's why nine the second is one only is if you do it perfect, only if you get the perfect layout where you never see any useless information Thrust, with nine. Thrust says he thinks nine is correct. Captain Classic thinks it's ten. Since ninth doesn't reveal the first matching tile until after you guess. Does it count? Let me reset this. So nine Wait is how second. many? Nine. So ten. Nine is the correct amount. It doesn't amount. count down until it doesn't count down. It, it you still stay at twenty until you don't make right. A match. But if the second, if the first one is new, but the second one isn't, you lose the information. If the but, first one, if the first one is one you've already seen, you don't lose. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't lose a guess. But if the second one is. You've used a guess and only gotten half the information. And, and that's totally fine. But, but that, you do that, need 10 that, because that, otherwise the ninth one you would run out. I believe you no, don't need no, 10. No, no, you don't need, you don't use 10. But you have to have one free and available so that you can complete the... Because the game ends oh, when you run out. You it, use up 9. You have to have at least one or you lose the game. I don't think it does. Let me see this. Well, when, it doesn't matter which one. It's No, nope, it says when the counter displays zero attempts any next error oh, okay so so we're talking the same thing it's just that we it's misunderstood the, the rules it's, yeah, yeah it's the one life in reserve so you need versus nine because zero because zero allows you to continue playing it's the lives you don't thing, have nine right you die with minus one yes, yes it's yeah. the lives thing yeah it's yeah. like do you have one in reserve or is that the life yeah. you're playing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do okay. you die when you run out of life or do you die <laughs> when you have less than zero life <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> in this case i think both could both make sense because this is that's how life. many moves in reserve you have at the top yeah yeah not the one you're on yeah okay so nine is correct Thrust but, is but, right and i am right but, but we're no, talking no, no. different languages no 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 we're no, no. The, oh, from that debate but nine means that unless it goes perfect you will lose because this because no. you yes if you okay okay <laughs> maybe i'm wrong but you haven't explained how i'm wrong so no, you I go haven't. through so you go through Explain how when you get the... Okay, so you get a piece of information, it's new, and then the second one is something you already knew, and you've only gotten half. If That that means you have to make an extra guess to get the other half of the information that you would have had. Because normally you're getting two pieces of information each time. So if you go through... If the first one is, is something you saw before, then it's not a loss of information because you remember where the other one was, and your next move you can eliminate it. But mm -hmm. if the... Uh, and, and so you don't waste one. But I, if you the first one is something new and the second one isn't, you now know where a match is, but you can't make the match. And so I, it uses up a, a guess. I think that corrects itself when you're at the... Say the first one and the what last one. What happens when one, it happens again? The first What one? happens when the next time you go to the next no, 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 one, no, no, no. But, but you go to the next one and you look at it and you get a new piece of information and then again you get another piece of information. So that's that adds up to two things you didn't get. Your efficiency has dropped by a full guess at that point i can't do it mathematically but i'm just guessing that if the let's say you're down to the last thing and you have the first one and the last one are matching by then you don't need to guess you know the last one even without that piece of information there's only two left you know they match so the last one you can do that with but yes, you and can that erases but your you, no, thing but, of not having that information but you can have the thing I'm talking about several times. You can keep but getting. But that's fine. You keep getting information as you do that. But you're only you getting half matching. the. Inf but you're only getting half the information. Yeah. But uh, you're you're only getting half the information. You can you can make, you can make according to this thing. You can make nine turns in which you don't make a match. And so if yes. on on three turns, you only get half the information. That's one and a half turns you've used up where you should have used up. Um, like zero turns. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you, am I not explaining it well? Like, can someone tell me if I'm just, if, like, if they can debate it in the chat, we're going to move on. Right, we're moving <laughs> on. Yes. I want to know if I'm right. I also want to know if I'm wrong. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not really a math really? problem. It is, but it's, not, it's a very but it, low it is, level. It's low definitely level math. math. It's it definitely is. math. Either, yeah. either you're right and I'm missing something, or yeah. you're wrong, and I've got it right. Yeah. And it's all about the math. One way, it's <laughs> 9 or 10, I'm thinking. Um, so this is uh, Grizzards. Um, and uh, Bruce Robert Pocock is the developer. First posted July 16th, and this build is from today. Uh, that is Which not one? it. Grizzards. Down, down, down. Okay, so this is the... 
Oh no, we did talk about it, the Sears thing. Never mind. <laughs> yes. I don't know how this relates to Sears. Anymore. Oh, because you had the little uh, the thing describing which games it would work on. And at the bottom it said oh. it works with any of these oh, compatible systems. Oh, right. The Sears. That's very funny. Um, so he wrote me yesterday. First off, thanks a ton for featuring Grizzards on your show. No problem. I like to feature new games. It's got a B and a big R and a P. And it uses the Atari box. Just said Grizzards. It's got a nice animation there of, I'm assuming, a Grizzard. It looks like a... What's the kind of crocodile? Part of the lizard? I don't know yet. We might find out. Great Lizards? Grumpy like, Lizards? Crocodiles, grumpy Lizards, maybe? The crocodiles aren't Lizards. We all know that. It's just like a name thing. We forgive it's a very nice title. <laughs> nice title. Oh. Oh. Excellent use of the Atari Vox. Oh, what is... Oh, it's... Something monsters. I heard grizzards. Don't touch anything. It's in, like, demo mode. I'll actually turn up the music. It's a little low. <laughs> Metal Learner didn't get any of that. <laughs> cool title. I thought it was a new subscriber at first. Oh, <laughs> when it was talking. <laughs> yeah, because I used the Atari Vox voice for the new subscribers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Zephyr and I have been working on this for almost two months now. Can I start? Um, yeah. So this has save games. And use a joystick. So there's three game slots that and you can save, save your game. And does it save it on the Atari box, I guess? Yeah. Okay. So pick one, because we haven't played this on the system before. Oh, 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 it cut out. Line count. Line count issue. Will it come back? Yes. Yes. Oh, I like the person. Yeah. It's got a little nose. It's got some uh, walky feet. Do we describe that as little? <laughs> it's quite a large nose. Quite a large nose. <laughs> he needs to see the doctor. Uh, uh, do I have a growth on his am nose? Am I supposed to touch the things or not touch the things? I'm going to find out. No. Aqua. Oh, Deep Aqua oh, okay. X. Aqua X. Aqua X, I'm guessing. Played zero hours. Wow. Count your hours. Can you move the joystick? Oh, some line counts going on there. Just have to wait for it. It'll come back. As long as it's not like flipping out. So, Aqua X, which is your gator dude. You've got an attack of one, defense of one, hit point ten. That's good. Max ten, hit max hit points. I'm guessing. Um, so I'm just gonna press the button. Okay. Oh, to get out of that. Okay. Oh, I just. Oh. You tried all the joystick directions I when believe... it was on that one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, when I was on it. Ah, damnation. Line counts noted. Okay, try to the right. Yeah, okay, good. Try. Okay, so either way it goes back to the. Okay, the so thing. we'll just exit out of there. It, it might be the store. We're going to have to read the instructions, but let you just play around and I will ignore you because I have lots to, lots to say here. Um, a quick start here. Uh, once you leave the initial room. They're coming. The monsters are coming. And the guy just... Which one are you? Oh, that's where you were. Well, it said to flee. <laughs> well, it seems like a safe spot. Actually, go back in there. Watch the door. <laughs> oh, that's the dude. Okay. Oh, so he, what are you, he took what, off. What were you upset about? Listen to the music and watch the door. <laughs> okay, uh, quick start hint. Once you leave the initial room. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> it's so noisy. You want me to stop playing the game? Uh, you want to head left from the first screen. The second NPC you'll meet. Oh. Wicked slime. Uh, on the docks will tell you where to go from there. The demo area is restricted. There's really only one quest you can complete with the demo area. Specifically, tell you to finish that quest. Okay, so your options are Splish Splash, Raise Hope, Sure Splash, Quick Foot, 
Great mojo. First aid, simple cure, common cure, or run away. So it highlights the slime. Can you pick? It, see how the, it's, it's run away doesn't highlight a slime. Because you're running. Right. And neither do these. Because it's curing Because these are you. you. Yeah. But great mojo affects the slime. Quick foot. Sure splash. Wait. Maybe sure splash is for all of them. Yeah. Yeah, so these ones don't. And that one, like, that's cool. And there's it, color coded too. Red. So red for means. attack. But. But when you go to some of them, raise hope doesn't affect them. Yeah. So maybe red is for combat. Black options are ones you haven't learned yet. Oh, okay. Gator dude made me think of preppy. So I don't know pick? what this is. Can you pick one yeah, of those? Try splish splash. Monsters. Oh, injured. cut out. Line count issue. Oh, it's attacking you. Oh my god, the line counts. <laughs> Cutting out the screen. At least we've got the voice to tell us what's going on. You're injured. Oh. Yes. Is this like a real time thing? Am I supposed to be doing something to react? I, or I think just because happen? there was. Oh, you killed one of them. Um, because there's four of them, all four attack to you. Ah. Uh, you get one attack. I mean, it's not maybe sure not splash? the greatest of idea to. I would use he heal maybe. I don't know what your. I don't. Oh, have you don't have any. Box, so, I can run away, or I can, sure splash. I'm gonna sure splash. Sure. I, I'm having my gator butt kicked. They're kicking your my gator butt. Love <laughs> early. Oh, used on yourself. Sure, splash on your. Or. Nothing happened. Oh no, injured. Uh oh. Oh, right, left, picks a target. Monster is killed? Healed? Healed? Or killed? <laughs> Did he heal himself? Was he killed or healed? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I see. So if I go to Splish Splash, I can go like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you try and attack? We're going to keep going until I'm dead. Sure. That's just how it is. I love the audio. I mean, it'd be better to see it, too, but at least we have audio. What is injured? Wizard? That sounds like... First aid. He's healing himself. The slime? Yeah. So he's got heal and you don't. I don't know about mobs healing. That's... Oh, they're healing themselves. I couldn't run this on the plus card on the 7800. Displays a big sad face. <laughs> Uh, Grizzards is a new video game in development for the Atari video game system. Uh, Grizzards use a g save game device such as a save key, mem card, Atari box, and sports speech with an Atari Fox device. In Grizzards, you play a Grizzard handler. Oh my god, so noisy. Train your Grizzard companion to raise its stats and learn new moves you can use in combat. Fight monsters throughout the land and fight new Grizzards to join your team. So mad. <laughs> a, a point of interest. Aside from the unfinished manual art and title screen artwork, the full game will have roughly five to six times the number of screens as a demo. Two additional background music tracks for areas of the map. Many more NPC interactions, quests to complete. I would run away. You're getting your ass kicked, I'm guessing. Oh, you just want the, the noise to uh, calm down so you can finish. Wicked slime. Did you, did you successfully run away? Oh, you didn't. You encountered the wicked slime immediately again. Because it's expecting you to move. Oh. It's going to the screen, and it's attacking uh, you immediately again. So I would go yeah. down to the right immediately as soon as you run away. Because it looks like running away is 
Go, 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 down to the right, 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 right. Okay, good. Hopefully that's... Oh, he didn't attack Three again. Big flames. Ah. It is unfortunate that the video is cutting out. So, um... Let's read about the moves, at least, so we know what's going on. Oh, oh you made it! Hooray! I have six hit points? Six points? Can you press a button? Press the button? No. No menu. Go back into the door. Maybe it'll tell you your hit points now. Go up. Played zero hours. Press the joystick. Oh, you're at full health. Maybe you died. Maybe he healed you. Uh, battling monsters. Uh, monsters plague the world of Cyrex. If you're caught by monsters without a grizzard partner, they're sure to eat you alive. Luckily, your grizzard part will defend you from them, and monsters will attack them, uh, attack it before you. When you encounter monsters, you'll see a combat display. So there's another sign. Entering the fire dump. The player eats a flame doggos and kill guns a funny <laughs> Flame doggos. Flame doggos. And R-O-U-S's. Um, I don't believe they exist. Monsters travel in groups. Oh, you're all fine. You can't get by that guy. Can't? And he says definitely go to the left, not the right. That one's too hard. Yeah, I don't think we can actually do. Oh, the... Depot heals you. Okay. Ah, okay. I don't think we can. Um... You want to fight that guy? Sure. It's only two of them, so we have a chance. Uh. Let me see if there's a list of different types of attacks here. Yes, yeah, Splish Splash. Splash water at the enemy, causing some damage. Raise Hope may increase its own defend ability. Ab may increase its own defend ability. So you raise hope for yourself. Mm -hmm. Sure Splash may increase its own attack ability. So those aren't attacks. Uh, right, that makes sense because the things weren't highlighted. Quick foot causes some damage and may decrease the enemy's defendability. Ah. So, so you, that attacks and also... Um, Aquax. Well, it could be Aquax. Aquax. It could be. Yes, I mean, it's saying what it's... Same it's one. doing what we're trying and just coming up with a different answer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of like a mud. Yep. Uh, great Mojo causes some damage. May also decrease the oh, we killed enemy's it. attack. Oh, nice. We're going to win this fight. Yes. <laughs> Injured. Level up attack. Victory. Victory! Victory! Nice. We'll definitely have to play points. this again when he fixes the video. No. Oh, watch out! Run, run by him. Run. Oh, run! Go to that sign. Go to the sign. Talk to the dude. He has a different voice. You can also leave that screen, so that's good. Oh, run! Oh, you can't get by that guy. You have to know. fight him. Or maybe he's a good slime? I doubt it, though. I already tried. Oh my god! I'm better than James at something! Go to the sign! Don't let him touch you! So we, got, we saw all the screens, which is good. Can. Oh, you! Ha ha ha! You can't! Hell? You can't! Except I can because I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That's crazy. Oh, it's just... oh. Oh, cut off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sneaker than expected. <laughs> yeah, way sneakier. Oh my God! I'm less Trez sneaky. Uh, oh my God! No entrance. Oh, when it's a big wall, there's there's no path. I'm guessing. Yeah, there's a little right. divot there. You don't know. I don't know. So, it's just a glitch. Yeah, when it doesn't reach the edge. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
guess. Okay, there's. Oh, look at that guy being eaten by slime. What? Can you keep it on that screen? No, because they start moving to kill me, don't they? I don't think so. Okay. Not while you're reading. Poor dude. Getting eaten alive. It's very popular. Is that a challenge? Ah, run! There was a path down. There is a to path the left. Down. Uh, down instead of the left. Or is that where you came from? Oh, that's where, that's where you came from, from yeah. Oh, there's only one. Oh, no. oh, they doubled up. How do I fight the guy? Punch him in his stupid big nose. That's right. Let's go, big nose. <laughs> He's like, look who's talking, big nose. Well, he nose. has an artifact. He literally told me we need to take it from him. Yeah, he did. It's not wrong of me to want to punch him in his stupid nose. A Vorpal Bunny. A Vorpal Bunny. Um, first aid heals a small amount of health. Simple cure heals a large amount of health. Common cure heals even more health. But we can't do this yet. Oh, nothing happens. That's okay. Because it was the, it reduced his defense. Maybe reduced his defense. True. Chance. Oh, he bit you. He injured you. He bit Game you. over. <laughs> wow. A little bit more than injured. Purple bunnies are overpowered. Run away. Game over. Oh, you can resume? I'm guessing... Oh, you have six points. So you got some points. Oh, because when I went back, I had six points. Is that when you save automatically? Yeah, I guess so. When you... So fight that dude. What? Or are you going to go somewhere else? Yeah, this is where we went before. No! <laughs> Sticky walls! Do you have to go over here and talk to these people first? Uh, it may not have saved it. Oh, no, you don't get any points. No points. Oh, see if you can be tricky again, tricky. Mr. Tricky. No, that's not the spot. Over here was where I was tricky. That, yeah, that's damn tricky, too. Are you invincible for those couple seconds? Oh, that didn't work that Or you could run away. <laughs> Could run away. Depot yeah, is a save also. Away. Okay. Because you're attacked immediately. Or maybe not. Maybe you're fine. <laughs> there, and then they tried. Hi. Come on up here. Let's uh, run away. This move lets you escape from a battle. Your grizzard will not be healed if you run away. Unless you fit unless you visit a grizzard depot. Uh, whoever the monster that you were facing will be healed immediately. Uh, troubleshooting. Screen jitters, freezes, or flashes blue. These may be signs that a screen or transition between screens does not have correct scan line count. This is in the manual. This is a technical error by the game's developer. That's me. <laughs> oh, I got by. Oh my god. Am <laughs> <laughs> I running away? <laughs> and we'll be corrected in the next version of the game. I don't know why I'm so pleased. Uh, if you see these effects, or if you're running Stella and you notice the scan line count is not 262 at times, please report them to support at Starhawk. I have one of the artifacts. Who says you can take it? You have to defeat... Oh, he's out in the open. What? Fire Panda? That looks like a snake. I've got to say, the uh, Fire Panda... Blended in with the background real good because I didn't see anything at all. It's oh. suddenly Fire Panda. <laughs> Maybe he's a random attack. Does it list everything here? Uh, all the creatures? Let's see. Okay. Oh, random encounters. Oh. Nothing happened. You're going to die. Why are you so down about this? Why are you... <laughs> Two hits. Two hits. Everybody's going to die. You don't need to say that. <laughs> uh, the land of Syrax is a dangerous place. Fierce monsters roam the countryside. But luckily for you, you're a grizzard handler. Um, Flame doggo. Flame doggos. <laughs> Yay! Those look like doggos. Oh, did you run? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, in the Grizzard video game, you roam the land looking for monsters. Monsters may surprise you as you travel. You may see them coming. When faced with terrifying beasts, you'll direct your Grizzard to use its moves to defend you and attack the monsters. Uh, okay. It's a huge manual, that's why I'm kind of skipping through it. Was that a random encounter? That was a random encounter. The fire doggos? Oh, flame I doggos. Got, I got random encountered by flame doggos again. Okay, what else? Current score. Yeah, is at the top. Oh, so I got by that guy. Oh. This is, the way I got by him is when you interact with something, you're immune for a few seconds. And so there was a random encounter close to him. And so I couldn't see, but I just pushed on the joystick so that I would pass through him. And so, wow. That's so very yes, clever. I hope I'm being useful right now. You're very useful. <laughs> Horrid slime. Did, was that a die. random? We're, I don't know, because it happened so quick. <laughs> do, do a do a runaway and then actually run away. Oh, no. They were actually there. I saw some slimes. But we didn't see the screen very long. Okay. Yeah. You're safe so far. Safe. See, I just realized that, like, the game which is going on in my head... Oh, it's a random encounter. Yeah? Uh, th that people can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> the awesome game going on in your head? <laughs> As opposed to the not-so-bad slime. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't list all the enemies in the manual, as far as I can tell yet. Maybe they'll put that in later. Winning the campaign. It's not possible to win the demo. You'll have to wait for the full game to be released. <laughs> Darcy being very useful. Got to work in the collision of some ah. gatekeeper encounters for sure. So when going to the right, you got... Oh, thanks. <laughs> so when you went to the right and got past that guy, uh -huh. is that where you are now? I'm... I mean, you go I'm, back. I'm way past that guy now. There's the guy. Oh, okay. And then uh, this seems like I a went place here you and were, this guy. You were here before. So, yeah, but oh, but this end. Is, yeah. This is oh, he ran away. Look at him. Uh, yeah. Oh, the fire pan no. is in the wall. He came back. <laughs> Did he give I you think he just wandered off the screen. Did he give you an artifact then? Because he mm. said, I hope my artifact. Oh, maybe. I hope so too. Yeah. I, so, oh, I see. He wanders. He oh, wanders. Uh, he loops around. Yeah, he's it's a teleporter dude. In this demo, you can only play with Aquax or Aquax. Um, other Grizzards will be available in the full game, so you'll be able to get more monsters. I mean, this is, this is, um, what's the game? <laughs> Pokemon. This is a type, a Pokemon type of game. Or uh, unusual, unusual size. What was it of you? Rodents of unusual size. That's awesome. It's from Princess Bride. Or U.S. Is, is it? Yes. Oh, nice. I don't think they really, I don't think they exist. <laughs> Rodents of unusual size. <laughs> it was one of the confusing scenes from the movie because before that, I swear he was looking at them. They were menacing him and he was looking at them. And then he says, I don't think they exist. And then they attack him. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> that is very strange. Um... There's actually, this game can crash. And it's got two different crashing scenarios. There's a red sad face and a white sad face. Red sad face means your memory device was not found. And the white sad face means the game has encountered an error. You should not be able to reach this screen. <laughs> That's interesting that it has a crash condition that actually shows huh, on the that screen. That's cool. <laughs> It's got a lot of troubleshooting. You don't normally see troubleshooting in a manual of error conditions for your game. That is very cool. You can save your game. 
Yeah, played zero hours. Well, I guess we haven't played an hour. Um, it's hard to play with the the cutting out, but I think yeah, we've yeah. explored quite a bit of it. Yeah. Um. This, oh, go back, go back. Look at that sign. Right. He's being all warpy. It's because you are in the same line and it's drawing. Ah, yeah. It's um. It's uh, not calculated the the line drawing. Uh, the de delay. What is it? There's a there's a command you can use to delay a draw, and that's what's affecting that. It's it's moving it. Okay, we're going to finish. Actually, you can. How many you're fighting? How many were there? Four. Oh, you're gonna die. We'll play till you die. There's no point. No. Okay. We know what happens. I yeah. die. It happens off screen. <laughs> <laughs> so very, very cool beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I love RPGs like this, uh, where there's quests, there's different <clears throat> rooms, there's NPCs, there's enemies, there's different ways to fight them that you can heal. Um, and in this one, you can get people to help you out and a crew, a crew. <laughs> Um, and build up your defenses. I, I'm guessing when you defeat uh, an enemy, you get to keep them, maybe? Like, maybe you can get a flaming doggo on your, mm. on your team if you capture them or whatever. I don't think a flaming doggo is a grizzard. No, it's not. A no. grizzard's a grizzard. I think. Yeah, I think you get more grizzards. Oh, I suspect. Maybe. I suspect, though I can't say for sure, I suspect that... Uh... That'd be cool to get different... Um, people, yeah. Um, you can learn oh, moves, you can from enemy. moves from enemies. Oh, moves uh, from enemies. Any monsters raises stats. Okay. Ah. Um, super cool concept of the game, yep. and they've got a very good start. I yep. mean, the, the line count is an issue, you, but you'll be able to play it on Stella without it freaking out yep. too much. And it would work. It's because of. It's not because it wouldn't do that if you weren't connected to your video thing, right? It would work on a. CRT, wouldn't it? CRTs are so forgiving yeah, of yeah. bad programming. Um, <laughs> uh, not going by the code. Like in, in the original manual of the Atari 2600 programming manual, it says 262 lines. Ah. So if you do stray from that, it does say that some televisions may start rolling the screen. Right, right. You usually have to make it pretty far from 262 to, to roll a CRT. But uh, digital equipment is like, I want 262. That's all I want. Or a stable line count. Because you can have 264 or other, other numbers. But as long as it's stable, it doesn't freak out and go, oh, you've switched uh, devices, I see. Uh, let me figure this out, this new device, for 10 seconds. Da, 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 da. It's like, oh, okay, it's this resolution and this many lines, and I'm going to display it like this, and that's why it freaks out. Um any day now, I'm getting a replacement for my Frame Meister. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are saying. It's called a RetroTank 5X. Does that mean I get your Frame Meister? That means that's the backup device. It's just uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it is much more forgivable ah. about this. It goes blip. Isn't that bad? Oh, we'll still see when the error is there? Uh, we'll, it won't cut out. Yeah. It'll be just like blip, like, little, like that, a little flicker. But doesn't that mean we won't be able to like be as helpful? Uh, we'll still see flickers, so we won't be as complainy <laughs> about oh my god, it cut out. But but isn't the complaininess and the whining isn't that an important part of pre it of is. pushing people? <laughs> it is the whining whining till we get our way. No, <laughs> <laughs> make it better. <laughs> no. it, it does help people identify issues because you don't want you don't want that. Because some people don't have equipment that will correct for that. They'll just hook it straight up to their LCD TV and it'll just cut out and make it all crazy. Um, the show is not over, but it is over. Um, we're, we do have an After Dark that we're going to be playing. Um, it is a VCS Tech Challenge. But thank you very much, Dan. It, lots of good games today. Lots of fun. Um, so the games we played... I, I have no suggestions for this game yet because he's not done it uh, other than fixing the 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 issues. 
the line count issues. What does he say? Looks like a drop overage in the transition between screens. Going to hunt them down. Uh, definitely number one pri priority on the beta build. Our OLED TV totally ignores whatever frame grabber blew out on. Oh, whatever the frame grabber blew out on. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. So we've got a very forgiving television. It's not dark in BC yet either. I could close the blinds <laughs> and it'll be dark. It's dark somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. <laughs> So today we played Awakening, uh, simple but f fairly fun RPG, uh, yep. fairly quick, short game. Um, it's it's finished. It has the uncertain did I win or did I die ending. Yeah, he may want to look into that and make a maybe the the game over music a little bit more down if it's a bad ending, a little bit more up if it's well, a good. What or causes a bad it. ending? You die from skeleton. Oh, you mean the other. I think if you don't collect enough fairies, he doesn't explain it. Oh, okay. I think if you just go straight to the king mm -hmm. and go, hmm, I found you, rather than rescuing all the fairies. And I think the last game we got over a thousand points, and yeah. it was the good ending. Cause you and the one before enough. that was 580 points, and it was which like, is still quite a lot. That was, that was bonus points. You got bonus points at the end. It was pretty good. I think. But I... I'd video. have to review the footage to look at and compare yeah, yeah. the end screens and the yeah. end music. Yep. It's it's very ambiguous. Uh, memory. Uh, good memory game. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it was got good. some good icons. Making it two player will make it mm, primo. As primo. as a single player memory game, it was perfectly successful. Yeah, yeah. it did exactly what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So he's 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 on a good uh, a good path on his games because all three games that he's made are very simple like old school games, um, single screen stuff. One was rock, paper, scissors. Um, but he switched it to a card game where you have a rock, a paper, and a scissors, or three rocks, or three scissors, and you play cards against the other person who also has three cards. And if you play first, they get a choice to defeat you or not, or to tie you. Um, if you tie, the first person to lay down a card gets one point. If you defeat them you get two points. And if you get three of a kind on your cards, you get f extra points, three extra points or something. So you're trying to almost get rid of certain cards, you get three of a kind. It was very, very cool. Hmm. And uh, at the end, you get bonus points as well for if you get three three of a kinds. So three scissors, three rocks, three papers. It was very good twist hmm. on it have you was is there a card game they've ever heard of like that um like at your store there's like, so many variations of games like that that yeah. there's stuff that will have those types of mechanics for sure yeah yeah, yeah. and i guess um, he just applied it to rock paper scissors yeah uh thrust says very dark here but doesn't after dark actually mean when that it is bright again very that good does, observation. Yeah, but no, it means it can after, mean. That's literally what it should mean, but isn't what it does mean. What it does mean is after dark has started. <laughs> <laughs> after dark is nighttime. Even though like it can yes, you are be correct. Daytime it, again. But it isn't. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. literally doesn't mean that. It mean it doesn't l mean what it literally could mean. It means <laughs> it is now dark. After dark has begun. Like the begun is just trimmed off. It's it's there. Yeah. Then there's near dark, which is not dark, but almost dark. Like twilight. Like twilight. Like, yeah. 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 Um, a fair point. Such a common expression here that I haven't thought of it that way. Okay. So, and Grizzards, awesome. Great start. He obviously has big plans and a huge map and NPCs and quests and bringing things and collecting items to use in other areas. Uh, I look forward to playing that again as he develops it further. Yeah, yeah. it further. Um, so we will be playing in After Dark a VCS Tech Challenge, trying to get a high score. We will fail. We'll get a score. <laughs> it won't be zero. It'll be okay. Um, but uh, we will see how high we can get and see uh, if we do well. Um, so stick around for that. Uh, we're going to have a 10-minute break between now and then so just hang on to the twitch and keep it uh, broadcasting or if you have to go to bed it's a school night wherever you are where would that be nowhere asia i guess because in europe it's not that late 
Um, so, thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. Let's see who's hanging, hanging out with us. Uh, Carl G, Thrust, Dan AVC, BR Pocock, thank you for uh, making that game. Uh, Grizzards, what does the GR stand for? Is it just something you made up? Grizzards. Uh, Captain Classic, Metal Lunar 7, Fitoko. Charles Wieland. You hear Carl G there. Nods. Oh, Carl G. Did I miss no. that? Oh, Crossbow. Hey, Crossbow. Um, Mad Max 2069. Oh, miss that person. RC7E. <gasps> Drexel was there. X Ken X. Uh, Repentless VG. Splendid Nut. Oh, and we didn't do the poll. So, uh, the end of the poll. Oh, I can't even read that. <laughs> read it off the screen. Uh, how difficult do you like your games? In first place, it should start easy and ramp up to hard, which a lot of games do. Yeah, they yeah. don't just it's start pretty standard. Hard. Yep. In second place, games should have easy, medium, hard settings for sure. It depends was... on the game for me. Like sometimes that makes sense. Yeah. It's a, it makes sense if it yeah it depends on the type of game. Yeah. Because some games, you're. You, you know the beginning part is the learning and then you go on and other games and it's like a end. certain type of yeah i don't know it's like yeah where it's easy all the way through or it's sort of like centipede where it never ends you just go as far as you can and in that case yeah. well actually that works it's fine good. with either two or three yeah honestly. it does yeah there's a lot oh I'm but so like an adventure good. game okay so if you have a long adventure game yep. like a like a ultima type game or something then you have to question, it might work for having easy, medium, hard. Yeah. But, yeah, it depends on what you want. It does, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, it's I, just a made I, up I have not given a sounding. conclusion answer. Now <laughs> I feel like I've just wasted time spinning there, and I've come to no conclusion. So uh, helpful. So it was 52% for uh, it should ramp up, 41% for hmm. yeah, easy, close. medium, hard. And then way behind, 5.9%, some people voted for hard as yeah, nails. Yeah, so, like, the, like, that's a valid... And so, the difference between 2 and 3, I'm not sure... Like, the only thing that matters... The difference between 2 and 3 is, do you want a version of the game that people can finish, <laughs> but it's not the game because it was on easy? And so, it's up to the designer at that point. But, like, number four, the it should be hard, it's, yeah, like, like if it's a sort of game where the, the, ch the thing about the game is that it's hard. Yeah. Like then it, then the it whole, should be hard. That's the whole thing If about it's it. like, if it's a simple game that's like a, like a, what do you call it? Like a dexterity game. Yeah. Then you might want it to be hard right from the beginning. Um, because that's all it is, is the 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 dexterity part it's not an adventure game there's not like screens to see and blah 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 yeah and in yeah, that case yeah. it does make sense to make it hard from That's the beginning true. and if it's yeah. an adventure game you can make it easy you can at all least make it easy at the beginning yeah. you could make it easy all the way through but again easy, that's tricky if through. you have if you have a story then may, having an easy mode medium or hard then it makes sense because for some people, the adventure, the whole point is just to experience the game. Discovering and for some people, the lands, they want the difficulty. Talking yeah. to the NPCs, all of that. And they just want to experience it, yeah. And I get, used to be, to like, sort of a purist, where it, I wouldn't want to make the game easier to get past the thing. But what that meant is I just didn't finish the game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and I've switched now. Now I'm like... Me too. W you, did a, a, um, you did a survey on it recently mm. and i was like yeah i'll use cheats if right, if i'm not cheating, gonna play yeah. the game if i'm not having fun anymore then i'll go to the might as well to like to learn how to do the thing yeah look it up and be like oh that's how you defeat so and so okay and now i get past yeah it. yeah because otherwise you're done the game you'll never see the ending and also yeah. it's not objectively true that if you don't figure it out yourself it doesn't count some people <laughs> ne don't care at all about figuring it out themselves they only care about being able to accomplish the goal not yeah. did i figure out how to accomplish the goal and some people are more like i need to figure out how to accomplish the goal and they don't even care if they actually accomplish the goal 
Yeah. Yeah. And so they, neither one is correct. They're it's both. Just, they're both. It's just, just how yeah, it's how just, you enjoy games. Yeah, That's yeah. it. If you enjoyed it, it 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 worked. That's the whole point. I'm like Vid Vid Vidoko. 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 Yeah. Vidoko. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if it's hard from the beginning, it will frustrate me and yeah. I might not play it. But that doesn't mean it's the wrong decision. No, there's some games like Games that. that are real hard at the beginning, they're, and if I don't like them, it's probably just the right decision. It's probably for somebody else. Yeah. You, you picked <laughs> the wrong game. Yeah. Should have checked it out beforehand. Okay, yeah. we're done. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for After Dark, where we'll be challenging ourselves to APCS Tech Challenge. So we will, if not... Uh, um, oh, and people on YouTube can answer these questions to our polls. You can just yeah, I'm with type Russ. I usually want to figure it out myself. But oh, I but try I, as hard I as I can. I have come to I have come to uh, realize that that like other people who just want to do well at the thing and aren't care so much about figuring it out themselves, they do a lot better than me in <laughs> certain situations. Like in board games, when we play a board game for the first time at the store, I. I you know, I do reasonably well at it. I do pretty good. But then in repeated plays, I get hammered because <laughs> I don't like practice and I don't learn. Oh, I don't yeah. learn the maximum, the min max. And you haven't played even. enough. Because I'm just playing it myself and trying to figure it out myself, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That makes Anyways. Sense. Okay. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Uh, we will see you then. Bye-bye. For now.